right, so this is how much got done yesterday. Um, <clears throat> they edged out this room here. They're gonna put two coats on today. Uh, first coat is on this wall. Looks pretty good, I like it. Um, and this wall, I mean this room has got the first coat. Um, this room still needs two coats. I had to pick up some more paint because we realized how much, how much paint the, the walls were soaking up. And this is the hallway so far. It's got one coat. Uh, a few pair. It's got one coat up to a point, and then they patched up some areas that needed a little bit of work. But the ceiling has been done. This is two coats on the ceiling. Very nice. Looks perfect. I like it. Stick around for more. Okay, this room is painted. Looks good. The formal dining room area is painted red. This red turned out really pretty. The living room walls, I realized in the last video I said ceiling, the walls up to the ceiling, 20 foot. Um, they did all of that. The color's pretty. Of course, the light kind of makes it look different in my iPhone here. They did both sides of this hallway. Up to that corner. And I'm going to do the rest of that. And then the kitchen ceiling in here got done. Blocked the light a little bit. Does that help? Yeah. So years ago, like I said, we had a hurricane that caused a leak right in this area. And I had patched it and put some kills on it and repainted that spot. But I could always tell. And now I can't. Now it looks like a new ceiling. There was even some spots that needed to be repaired where I had done some work in the attic, uh, putting in some shelving for my wife and didn't realize I was causing damage. They actually repaired that too. I didn't even ask, they just did it. So if you live in the Florence, South Carolina area, uh, Lorenzo Garcia and his wife did all the painting um, and the repairs and they did way more than I ever thought they would. Uh, this was a two-day job, but um, they did a great job. He looks great. I'll post, uh, I'll post his name and his phone number and just tell him you got it from Josh Peak, Josh and Dolores Peak. And uh, yeah, it'll help his business. He does a lot of commercial real estate stuff, uh, but he does homes and stuff like that on the side. You know, he's a hustler. I like, I like to promote people who are doing the positive thing, who are working hard, and he does that. So uh, give him a shout out. Maybe he can come do some work for you. He did our stucco in the front of the house. I asked him if he did tile work. He said, yeah, I do tile work. I, I used to do it, that's how I got started. I said, well, I'm looking at doing tile work in the kitchen maybe next year. I mean, if we budget this once a year, you know, we could eventually do all the stuff we wanted to do in the house. So anyway, I'm gonna post his phone number, give him a call. All right, we were able to move the furniture back in here. Um, I did have to clean all of the globes that are around this and the lights. Uh, there was some dust in there from just years of us not dusting it. And also from the sanding and the, you know, other construction type dust. Um, the red turned out really good. I think it makes this white chair real pop. Uh, the chair rail, of course, blinds in with the color of the, the flower in the middle, which is very pretty, and the candles are white, so it's, you know, kind of ties it all in. Why the globes? Um, the paint is beautiful. Of course, there's light coming in from the window, so it kind of throws off the look also, but this turned out really nice. Really, really nice. Our foyer um, turned out nice. We got uh, our stuff back where it goes. Um, I know a good angle to show you this. Let's see. OK, 
Okay. And the living room is mostly back where it's supposed to go. We still have to put a, the big mirror here and the big mirror requires uh, me and another strong person. My wife uh, just wasn't feeling it. So we're going to put that up today. Um, but we got the mantle put back in place, which is nice. And curtains back up. Um, cleaned everything again. And we'll probably do it again once everything's back where it's supposed to be. But, um, but yeah. This turned out really nice. Really, really nice. I'll show you what it looks like with the mirror back up too. Okay, I got the big mirror back up. Thank you to my stepdad, Dan, for helping me do that. That was kind of heavy, but it's, uh, it's not really as heavy as it is just awkward. It's a really awkward shape. So I used my level and got it all leveled out and made sure that the couch was in the center and along with the coffee table, because that's how my stupid brain works. It's got to be centered. And of course, this is in the center of the room, and I gotta move this back because it's not center. <laughs> gotta get it centered. Ah. All right, that's as close as it's gonna get because I gotta have room for the feet to come out here. But that's good, looks good, I like it. Happy with it. The walls look great, fantastic, fantastic.